In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a fake oil painting using Photoshop. Hey what's up guys, Dhruval here with another video and in this video I'm going to use an image from daventart.com so if you want to use the same image, download link is in description so feel free to use it. Now in this tutorial I'm going to use some raw editing and if you don't have a raw file for Photoshop, you can open a JPG inside Photoshop. So here is what you have to do. Go to your edit and go to preferences and there you have option camera raw. And by the way you need Photoshop CS6 for this tutorial. Uh, in earlier version you cannot follow it so sorry for that. And in the JPG and tip setting uh, you have to go and select automatically open all the JPG and hit OK. So now here what it does. Now when you go to file and open any image. So let's open this. This is a normal JPEG as you can see here. So now when I open it, it will automatically open it inside camera ROM. Now as you can see I have already manipulated this thing. So let's make it to the default. So this is the actual file that you will have. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, okay that's not how it works. God damn it. Go back, go back, go back. And yes you can use control plus or control minus uh, like this or these two buttons to zoom in and zoom out. So let's make it default. Now if you take a look at the painting as you can see it is super super glossy and that like that's the thing that makes it oil painting. So we need to make it a bit of glossy. So for that I'm gonna decrease the highlights a bit. As you can see now it gives it that sharp uh, highlights and then I'm also gonna bring up the shadows a bit. Uh, that also gives it that depth and then I'm gonna increase the exposure slightly not way too much and then I'm also gonna decrease the whites. A mess around however you want until you get the perfect output you wanted. So I'm also gonna make highlights let's say even darker and add a bunch of contrast. Okay that looks perfect. So if I turn it on and off you can see the awesome difference. Uh, there is a bit of a trouble so let's go and look at the camera defaults. So this is the original one and here is the custom settings. Looks awesome. Let me add a bit more contrast and let's decrease even more. No, that seems fine. A little bit of more uh, exposure seems fine. These things can take a lot of time so please have some patience. Cool. Now open the image and now as you can see it has opened like a normal image and we have already edited it. Now double click on your layer and unlock it. Cool. Uh, like duplicate it from here or you can press ctrl J and then uh, we need to remove some of the noise uh, and all the texture because as you can see here we do not have any kind of texture and that gives it that really awesome feeling. So to remove that you need to go to filter noise and in the noise you need to reduce noise. Okay my photoshop is really struggling with this maybe because it is a really high resolution image and my system is uh, it's okay. So uh, go to advanced and in the advanced you have per channel option and there in the red uh, make the preserve detail 100% and strength 10 now into the green uh, make it like 0% seems fine now go to the blues and then make it 0% and 10 per, uh, strength is 10 cool every image will need different settings so you get the idea hit ok. Now as you can see the skin looks fine but eyes and eyebrows and all, everything is screwed up. So here you have to do apply a mask, get a brush tool uh, here and in the mask when you paint with black color, solid black as you can see here while selecting your mask make sure you do not paint on the image like this that's stupid. So select your mask and remove it from her eyes. Doesn't have to be extremely accurate. So that's the really good thing about this effect. You don't have to be really super accurate. I mean if you want to be accurate that is awesome. But if you cannot don't worry about it a lot. So as you can see it already looks really great. Now you need to make the duplicate of it. So first of all let's rename it uh, to the noise. Cool. So we do not screw it up. You just have to double click on this name to rename it. It's simple. Now you need to make a duplicate of this thing. So let's uh, press Ctrl J or you can drag it to here whatever option you like. Now let's rename it and let's make it skin painting. I hope the spelling is right. 
Now select your mask, right click and select apply layer mask. Then uh, go to filter and oil paint. Here is where all the magic is going to happen and it looks crazy, don't worry about it, we'll figure it out. So let's zoom in even a little bit more. Cool. Now let's uh, uh, remove the shine 100%. So you don't have those uh, wavy lines, uh, which uh, if you are going for horror effect, cool, otherwise not so cool. So uh, that seems fine. And now let's scroll, screw around with all of the, I don't know what my pronunciation is going through today. And I'm also using the word cool a lot. I don't know for what some somewhat reason. See, and then that seems fine. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is not going to do a lot once the shine is zero. So let's try doing it, let's zoom in even more and see if it makes any kind of a difference. Uh, if it does, good, no, if it doesn't, then we cannot do anything about it. So it's cool, as you can see, once you decrease the shine to the zero, uh, nothing else matters a lot. Okay, this thing works. So let's make sure it's 10 and it's 10 and hit OK. So as you can see it already looks awesome but here's the thing we do not need this thing on her hair so now you again apply a layer mask and as we removed from the eyes you need to remove it from her hair so let's uh, remove it from here uh, the difference might not be really noticeable but in the final output it will work out and let's make the opacity 100 percent so that is good and let's paint it here uh, while painting this type of things make sure the opacity is 100% otherwise it can like uh, ruin your image a little bit. So now duplicate this thing so let's make a duplicate of it right click and delete a layer mask and after that go to filter and this time again go to oil painting. But in the oil painting this time you need to add a bit of a shine so that the hair gets that look and my system is really going down. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Now add a bit of a shine uh, like that so that you have those curves like those shiny things and scale. Nah, I think it's it's really fine at 4. Uh, and uh, it's 10, 10 and hit OK. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Looks horrible, I know. But we need this thing only on her hair. So apply layer mask. Uh, select your paint bucket tool and then make sure you have black color and fill it. So everything is hidden. Now all you have to do is just take your brush, take a white color and start painting in her hair like this. And here, and here, like this. As you can see it makes it look really soft and silky like we have in paintings all the time. And the output is not as good. And also when you paint, make sure that you paint the whole image. I don't have time due to the tutorial, but when you do it, make sure you paint the whole thing. Otherwise, it just look, looks awful, okay? So that seems fine. Now if you zoom in, cool. So uh, if you compare it to the, like, the default one, it has already started taking shape. Now create a new blank layer by clicking here so there's a blank layer now you have to press Control, alter shift and e now you have a jpg inside photoshop of the same image as you can see and it's awesome now go to filter and then let's go to filter gallery and cancel <laughs> sorry you need to make sure your background color is white like this you can click on this little box here now go to filter and go to filter gallery and in the filter gallery you need a filter called diffuse glow let's let me zoom in out zoom it out and then uh, add bunch of glow uh, like that uh, not that much but like okay that is cool and a bit of glow there not so much and cool hit ok so if I turn it on and off, you, it gives it that awesome plasticky feel, uh, which we really need. Then you need to duplicate the same layer, uh, go to filter, go to blur, oops, go to filter gallery. And this time, uh, as you can see, it looks like white spots. So all you have to do is just uh, increase the glow amount and then decrease the clear amount. So it will give it like a super white look. And it looks uh, really terrible right now, but uh, let me like uh, 
finish it so now it seems fine hit ok and once it is done uh, reduce the opacity to maybe let's say 28% or even higher if you want so if I turn it on and off you can see the final output looks really awesome and I mean the current final output we still need to do a couple of things so this is ready and this is how you make a oil painting uh, it's not finished yet but I'm just like giving you an advice uh, it will not come out perfect like every sometimes you will need to do the hair again go to your oil painting settings and change it again and again until it looks proper it, it's not like you just follow some couple of numbers and it will be ready magically no you will have to go back and forth a lot of time until you get the, your desired output so I hope we are clear on that now create another adjustment a blank layer sorry and then press Control, alt shift and e so we have another jpg inside and keep naming your layers don't be lazy like me or it, it will like confuse the hell out of you so now we again have a jpg inside photoshop as you can see and now into the filter and there is a sharpen i guess and select unsharp mask and then uh, let me zoom out a little bit and let me zoom in a little bit here cool uh, now let's turn on and off the preview it seems fine let me like increase the amount even more okay that's way too much uh, this thing can be a little intimidating and overwhelming so yeah uh, that radius seems fine and do not worry about the eyebrows looking horrible we will take care of that later so that seems fine and if I turn it on and off you can see that it gives it that final punch uh, or whatever you say but it's just not that great right now so oops horrible but we will get to the better as you can see these things can take a lot of time like a lot more than you can imagine so finding the right amount can be really tricky and also the radius so I'm gonna increase the radius okay that's way too much uh, and I'm not gonna edit these parts because I really want you to know like the hard work it takes so let's turn on and off uh, seems fine but I think this shadow area is just not picking up as much so yeah now that seems fine and let's turn it on and off now still not enough so let's turn down threshold uh, the more you reduce the threshold the more the powerful the effect is going to be so keep that always in mind and let's hit ok uh, not as awesome as I expected but still pretty good now we need to remove this thing from her eyes so again you can directly use eraser but I like masking so that uh, once I save the file I can still have it so select your mask and then start painting with black color and remove it uh, from here to uh, good and also a bit from here good now if you turn it on and off you can see that really plasticky feeling uh, which looks awesome and uh, the basic concept is ready now comes the hard working part which will take the most of your time really this was nothing uh, so now create another blank layer this has a lot of blank layer and press ctrl alt shift e so uh, another jpg and this is the last one i promise now is the only thing you have to do is grab your smudge tool from here uh, smudge tool it is a tool that smudges thing more obvious I cannot get more obvious than that and make sure strength is around 50 60 percent not way too much not really low and first we are going to do the eyebrows and in the eyebrows uh, I need to select a brush something like this or this do not go with this normal one not gonna work very really, really good so once that is selected make this smaller and have patience during this time seriously uh, if you go like really fast it can ruin your image so let's paint okay that is way too strong so let me like reduce the strength a little bit and that's fine and do it do it do it do it do it do it and horrible output is coming but still it's better and then let's do it do it do it do it and paint a little you can also like go with skin a little bit uh, to give it that feeling and if I turn it on and off you can see the difference in the eyebrows it gives it that painting look that everyone loves including myself I'm not gonna lie I really like this look uh, when done properly obviously 
so that is awesome if you turn it on and off you can see the difference and in the lips uh, turn let's go back to the normal brush uh, like the round softy softy brush and then uh, start painting and when you paint make sure that you paint downwards or upwards do not paint like this uh, no it doesn't work that way okay so let's paint it and when you paint on the highlights as you can see those highlights uh, only work on them then uh, let's start working on the dark parts and this way you can shape the whole lips and in the parts like this where you get noise a lot just simply paint the heck out of it don't worry about it it will mix it up and mix itself up a uh, real nice and then start painting here like that and make sure that you do not ruin this portion a lot uh, like I have done so let's zoom out and let's look at the original one so here is it okay the lip is still till here so yeah it does not gonna look as good as my actual work because that took like three or four hours not gonna lie now if you look at the lips it they are really really dark and that is because we made a mistake during unsharp mask and we did not remove it but you know now how to do that okay so make sure you do not do the same mistake but now if I turn it on and off, you can see the lips look much much better. Not as good because we don't have enough time. But you know how to do now, okay? Take your time and make awesome images. So now selecting my smudge tool and let's paint it here. And in this kind of thing, uh, like areas, make your brush super super small, okay? And then start painting like this. I don't, I'm not even sure like you can see it or not. So, okay, we totally nailed that and okay let's paint again tell me like if you want me to like fast forward this type of things or if you want me to like show these things in detail and take my time because sometimes people say like uh, longer tutorials are like like they take so much time and we, they don't need to show everything and sometimes they complain like why they don't show it in details so I'm quite a bit confused so you guys need to tell me like should I go into all the way details and make longer longer videos or you want me to make shorter quick videos where I fast forward this type of things okay and same goes with the eyes so let's uh, make some fake eyelashes like that and also here okay this time make brush even smaller like really really tiny tiny small and then start painting and this is the same thing it, it is just tedious process nothing else and the only thing that left is the background so create another blank layer control or shift E by now you should remember the code uh, then let's go to the filter oil painting and then as you can see let's uh, make it shine a little bit more and let's make the scale bigger and uh, let's change the direction something like that and okay let me zoom in as we can so that we can see the background better okay that looks good hit okay and let it take its time again apply a layer mask and you know when you hold alt key while applying layer mask it already applies a blank one so that is really awesome and then uh, start painting with white color in the background so you get this thing only there if you don't know what is going on uh, here what it layer looks like you only have the background nothing else so that is cool and uh, let's add in some couple of adjustments so let's go to curves from here on this click on this icon and go to curves and add a bunch of curves not too much but slightly bit of them and then let's turn this down so we have that cool contrast and if I turn it on and off it doesn't look very good it, it is actually killing the effect so let's make it again and let's brighten a touch and then let's go to the blues and add a little bit of no not yellow the blues not too much okay awesome so let's turn it on and off looks cool so as you guys can see the final output is ready and let's compare it to the original one and uh, it looks pretty good and here's the thing the more the time you invest the better the output is going to be now you know how you can use uh, like this on skin Let, let's just recap it quickly so here we first removed some noise 
and then we added the, like the skin like skin softening like that and then uh, we added bunch of skin painting like sorry the hair painting uh, the same way and then let's uh, we added some of the glowy thingy with use of filter and then we added even more glowy thingy using the same filter and then we added uh, like make made this look like a little bit plasticky and oily using unsharp mask and make sure to take care of this really dark areas uh, while you use it and then uh, we painted the eyebrows and the lips and then uh, we painted the background and then a little bit of curves tutorial might be long but once you get used to it it doesn't take more than like 15 to 20 minutes it yeah 15 minutes at tops once you get used to it so i really hope you guys learned something and i wanted to make sure that you created without using any third party plugins just using photoshop and if you really did learn something hit that like button or if you have any suggestions or if you are stuck somewhere in the tutorial uh, ask me in the comments i will do my best to reply now if you want to learn how to make someone's face using only polygon shapes click the box on the left or if you want to learn how to create someone's face using smoke click the box on the right also you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update and you can go to my channel and check out more than 60 free photoshop tutorials yes we have 60 of them so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop